welcome back. Missed you guys. My name is Allie and I'm from Westside. And this poem is called Down in a Hole. On a cold September night, my breath quivered in a sinister smoke. The moon wept its light and reflected upon puddles building within my eyes. 50 round the corners, which allowed for 35, can't slow down. My hand is forced into a roaring third gear. The pull of the engine adds to the noise of unsuccessful numbness. Too focused on thought, the lights begin to blur into greens, yellows, and I'm thrusted to the front of my seat long before I realize the last one was red. Playing down in a hole can no longer convince me there's someone further in. No volume suitable on the car stereo from, to distract me from knowing I, to distract me from the disaster that's about to occur. Four steps to his front door did nothing to soothe the vibration of anxiety. I had come prepared to quell his disastrous thoughts with my lullabies, but the pipe, that's what he demanded of me. And song became only to distract me from knowing I was the instrument of his addiction. I began, <laughs> I grew tired thinking the walls were so interesting to avoid eye contact whenever he looked up at me. So I left, four steps to the car door, but like steps through marshes of madness. On a cold September night, the sinister smoke sent shivers so aggressively to my spine that when the moon wept, I saw the stars swim and spiral like the starry night. I wonder if Van Gogh saw his kindred spirit turn to skin. I envisioned the green blues of his eyes all fade to a muddy gray as I drove further and further from the man I was never stable enough to revive. The needle, hidden with hopeful intentions in the glove box, tempted me to swirl within the starry night's eerie turbulence. The anxious syringe magnetized itself to my whimpering veins. Manic euphoria soothed me into my only sane corner of hell. I'm living down in a hole, and I don't know if I can be safe. 